What's going on guys, it's Babs here. Uh, I was just streaming uh, recently and somebody asked uh, what I use on iPad to play WGT. Um, and so I use a mouse. Boom, mouse. And it comes, you have to purchase this Apple adapter, um, lightning tip, USB tip, so forth and so on. And then if you buy a wireless mouse, uh, inside the wireless mouse, usually it has a cover that comes off. It, it's a two centimeter adapter that you put inside this USB port. And that way you switch on the power button and you can use the mouse without the cord. Um, sometimes I've found that with USB wireless mouse. Um, if you don't change the batteries regularly, the response time isn't always the same. And sometimes you'll start to notice that you get some late clicks or some early clicks. So I just have a really short corded mouse here, uh, nothing too fancy, um, but at least I know it's always connected. So that's how I set that up. And so then, see in my little icon here already pops up. So we'll go to the adapter. And this is the adapter that you're gonna want if you have the lightning port in your iPad. Um, 30 bucks, you know, on Apple's website. I'll put this link in the description of this video. That way you can get it and you can use it if you want to start using a mouse on your iPad. So let's go to the setup of all this. So you go to settings and you go to accessibility right here. Let's start from the beginning. So settings, so accessibility, touch and then assistive touch and you turn that on and so what assistive touch is good for is it allows you to use the mouse circle in the middle it also has this box that i think some people have asked about and this box is useful if your buttons ever stop working and you don't have a mouse you can use the home button device button uh, notification center different gestures control center this is a shortcut area um, if your home button or your power button or anything stops working and you can customize that to change what you see here uh, So forth and so on so I can click device. I can go power up power down all on the touch screen um, Without even having to touch any button. So I just kind of keep that up at the top and out of the way and Then when you come down to devices, it automatically recognizes my device here and then you can set up your buttons right here, depending on, um, you know, what buttons you have on the mouse. So see, I have, you know, left and right button and I have a middle button and the top two are to scroll. So the three buttons that I have are the single tap button, which is my left click, the home button, which is my right click. So if I just click the right button, it goes home. Obviously if I double click, the home button it goes to the menu center and then control center i have that just so i can record get to my volume my brightness all that stuff um, but you can change that and this is a list of things you can change it to all these exciting commands you can have just from your mouse um, which is really cool you know so i can you know have notification center and then now i press button three and my notification center comes up so forth and so on so that's, that's uh, always, always fun. So I'm gonna put it back on control center. And that way you can utilize whatever you want to have on your mouse do with which commands you wanna give your buttons. So then let's go to the actual circle icon. You go to pointer control and you have different ideas. So automatically hide pointer means if you don't move the pointer for several seconds, so forth and so on, it will disappear uh, until you move the mouse again. And I just left it there, it's no big deal. But you can change the color of the pointer to whatever color you want. You can have no color and it's just a hue. Um, you can have all these colors, I leave it on white. And then the border, you can change how thick it is. So forth and so on. That's another cool tip. Now, you can change the pointer size. So if you want more of like a sniper scope pointer, you can do that, which is kind of obnoxious, a little bit smaller. Uh, and you know, I just have this down here in a general sense, just so it's out of the way. And then you can change your scrolling speed. So kind of right here, it's where I have mine. If you put it way over here, 
you know, it moves a little faster. Put it way over here, it moves a little slower. So, different aspects of the game, um, sorry, of the iPad, that you can utilize your mouse pointer to play on iPad, and you don't necessarily um, need to use your finger to touch the screen and slide the slide bar and wrist uh, maybe missing. I know a lot of people, uh, when they play with their finger on iPad and they try and slide the swing meter up, sometimes they drift off the screen and then they're actually swinging at a different power than they want to. Um, another thing about using the mouse, uh, which is really cool, and uh, we'll kind of show you here real quick um, on the game, is that you can cancel your shot. And what I mean by that is if I go into stroke play, random, awesome, great. By using the pointer and moving it outside the screen, I can cancel my shot. So I'm gonna move this over, and then as the meter comes down, I move the pointer up to the top of the screen and the shot cancels. And that way you can utilize this to your advantage. So say you, you know, swung and you got 98%, but you wanted 96%, or well, you can slide the mouse all the way up and cancel that shot rather than having to wait for the meter, go all the way to the end uh, and start all over. And I've seen it on uh, a lot of PC streams where, you know, people are having to wait for that meter. And so this is just a little tidbit shortcut to kind of speed your round up. So I hope this uh, helps everyone. Uh, again, I will put this in the description so y'all can look that up. And uh, all in all, for the most part, I uh, appreciate y'all joining in, uh, watching the videos, and uh, check out the streams. If y'all have any questions uh, about anything, just uh, let me know. And I will hope to see y'all soon. All right. Take care.